guys and welcome back to Real Prac. Today we're looking at optical illusions, but we're not looking at the standard 2D ones such as the uh So these standard 2D optical illusions. This is Real Prac and we're looking at real illusions. So this illusion is what actually inspired today's episode. It's when you look at a clock and for the very first second it seems to appear longer compared to all the other seconds that follow after it. So, you know, of course this isn't happening. The clock's keeping ticking at the same time, but that very first second seems to be a little bit longer than the others. This is called chronostasis and it's basically just the brain adapting to a new situation. So, when you're doing something else other than looking at a clock, and then you look at your brain's adapting to the clock's time and rhythm. It's a bit like if, hopefully it's never happened to you, but if you're about to hurt yourself, for example, you're riding along on a bike or something, and a stick flicks up in your wheel and you go and hit over the handlebars, and you get that moment before everything seems to slow down, this is going to happen. Not much you can do, but yeah, when you hit, it's pretty pointless. Well, yeah, this is the effect. So it's basically just your brain readapting to a given situation, and hopefully it's only the clock situation, not stacking your bike or worse. The next effect is the wagon wheel effect. Now, you've probably noticed when you're watching a movie or something, and it shows the wheels on a car. As the car first takes off, you know, it's spinning forward as they usually do. And then you reach some point where the wheels just seem to stop and start going backwards. It's caused by how a camera works. So a camera basically just takes lots of pictures in a given set of time and then plays them over and it looks like something's moving, but really it's just a lot of pictures being played at a, say, 24 pictures per second. So if we take, take this uh, CD and um, say after one second, the wheel's here. After the next second, the wheel's here. After the second after that, it's here, it's here. The wheel's gonna look like it's moving generally forward if it was taking pictures at those time intervals. But for example, if it was taking a picture for every revolution this wheel did, when you play that in, uh, video, it's going to look like the wheel's not even moving. What if the wheel is moving actually a little bit slower? So we take a picture here, a picture here, a picture here, and a picture here. When you play it, the wheel's going forward in real time, but the video's going to look like the wheel's winding back. And this is a wagon wheel effect. Our last illusion is the after image effect. It's when, say, you looked at the sun and then look back down and your vision's all blurry because you've been looking at the sun and you can't make out things for a couple of seconds. Of course, you've never done it because it's bad to look at the sun, but that's basically the after image effect. The same principle applies to a flash grenade as well. When you chuck a flash grenade, which I know you haven't done, uh, it gives off a big flash and then the enemy's blinded for a couple of seconds. But it's a much cooler effect when you view this next bit of what I'm about to show you. You're going to see a image with inverted colours that's going to look pretty bizarre. When you pause the video for a couple, say 30, 40, 50 seconds, and then after that you're going to play the video. Then you're going to actually see a black and white video, but it's actually going to be in colour. The basic reason this happens is because as a, hu as a human being we adapt. When you always see us the same image for quite a long time, the, uh, 
the photoreceptors in the eye get a bit lazy and they like they stop sending a stronger signals to the brain because they're like, yeah, we're just watching the same thing again. And you know, the brain's like, yeah, yo, that's cool. Um, when you see a different image, such as a white background, the photoreceptors are like, whoa, we've got to respond, and then they just swap to the opposite colour of what they were viewing. So you, you originally saw the inverted picture, and then you saw the proper colour picture. And then after your eyes saw it, you know, you walked around and adapted, you come back to that white and white picture. So that was Optical Illusion guys. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. And leave a comment and let me know why. If you want to see more of these videos, hit that subscribe button. So until next time, take it easy.